right, well, what do we think about this pedal? Okay, uh, well, you had me over here to demo it. Um, I, I not, not just to start off, I don't want to just start off by saying I really like it, but I actually really like it. Yeah. Uh, it, first of all, the versatility of the pedal alone is worth the box, because essentially what you get is like three pedals in one, if not five pedals in one five with all pedals. the different settings you can do. Okay. Um, normally for my chain, what, what I have in my pedal board is, is three different, you know, distortion slash overdrive style pedals, uh -huh. kind of one for each. I have like a slight speaker booster when I want just a little bit of break, you know, uh, break up, especially where most, where most places you play, you know, you, you can't turn your amp up to a point where you really get the tone you want because, you know, m most sound guys ask you to turn it down. That's why I have that sort of booster in my in my chain. Uh -huh. And then I have kind of a standard blues overdrive, usually like a Tube Screamer style and then something a little crazier. With the JHS, you really get all of that in one and it's uh, the way it's laid out, it's not hard to be able to use all of that at the same time and to switch back and forth sure. and to, to go from, from a little bit of overdrive to a lot of overdrive with ease. Yeah. And that's why I really am enjoying it. I mean, if you know your settings, you could, you're not going to change mid-song, but you could easily flick your settings around between songs. Yeah. And be like, oh, I don't want the fuzz, I want the drive. I don't want, you know, the drive, I want a little bit of distortion or something like that, you know? Exactly. And it's, it's not hard to get to those settings because... No, it, not at all. I mean, it. what the kilt is here is is uh, JHS's take on the Expandora. Yes. Which it, we have right here. You have... Uh, yeah. Is that an original or is that one of the reissues? This is the original. Uh, this is from Japan. This is one of the original ones. I... Um, this is kind of my my like my prized possession in my pedal collection uh huh because uh, I just I think it's so cool I love this pedal I love the way first of all I just love the way it looks I love the way it's built yeah and if I'm being honest I, I don't think I can ever replace it <laughs> uh, uh, you know right but it it has its setbacks first of all the X Pandora comes with three settings it, you know it you can you can do a, a slight overdrive you can go to a distortion mode, and then you can go to a crunch mode. Uh, I think what makes the Expandora special is its crunch mode. The overdrive and distortions are fine, and they're good. Right. But the crunch mode, is it's really what makes you go, wow, with yeah. this pedal, you know? And you've used that on a couple of our recordings for Dinosaur Ghost. I have, so. and I use it live a lot. Yeah. Um, and it has a very sort of Texas ZZ Top feel, and Absolutely. I'll just, I'll, you know, should I, I'll, I'll just give you a little Yeah, give us a little taste. taste. Right now I have it in the crunch mode, which is kind of neat because it's super, super loud, but when you have the gain and tone down to a reasonable setting, it actually gates out. Right uh -huh. now the pedal's on, but there's no feedback, no yeah. nothing, and then... It has a really nice gate and a real nice fuzz crunch. Feel to it. Yeah. The problem with the X Pandora, at least the originals, I know they fixed these in the reissues, although purists are not fans of the reissues, is that to change the settings from crunch to overdrive to distortion, you have to take a screwdriver and open up the back. Yeah which is not easy to do in the middle of a show. <laughs> it's nearly impossible to do in the middle of a show. No. So you're, you're committing to one setting. And, and I, I like to have a lot of, you know, tonal varieties in my shows. I like to go from having, a, you know, a, a slight boost to, to a crazy distortion and, and, and things in the middle. And what I like about the JHS is that I can do that in the middle of a show. I can, I can go, okay, this next song does not need all that much crunch. I'm just going to kind of you know, <laughs> go a little lighter on sure, it. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, so the JHS, ha I mean, from what I've found, it's got, it, basically, instead of having dip switches on the inside, it's got switches on the front. Yeah. Uh, which are, as you said, are easy to get to. They're right along the top. There's four of them. Yeah. There's, uh, does the Expandora have the low cut? Switch? No, it doesn't. So that's an extra thing. That's an extra thing, which is kind of neat, mm -hmm. especially for 
you know, playing leads, uh, if you want to cut through. I yeah. Mean, we'll just, uh, you, I'll tell you what, I'll just do a quick comparison uh, with the JHS in crunch mode. Sure. And the X, this is the X-Pandora in crunch mode. Um, and similar gain and tone settings on the JHS. It's almost got like a like a, a little bit less of a of a mid crunch. Yeah, it's a little bit less a little bit less muffy. Yeah. The original Expandora here it's got more of like a muffled sort of blanket tone. Yes. And it's I I, I kind of treat that as more of an effect rather than just a straight up distortion. Right. What I found about the JHS when we were when we were taping the video demo is that even when when it's at its crunchiest, its its craziest, most boosted mode, each individual note I was playing still stands out. Yeah, totally. Which is really nice, especially for a single coil guitar. I'm using a sixty four Strat. Uh huh. And you know, I I was never a Strat guy before. I found this guitar because I always had a hard time dialing in tone, especially with pedals, especially with overdrive and distortion. And this really gives you best of both worlds where I can hear the single note or single coil brightness of each note, but I still get a full humbucking yeah. style distortion. You get really good note separation on it, like in chords and everything like that. Yeah. You play multiple notes, both the notes stand out. Instead of kind of getting buried in anything. Yeah. Which is a lot. It was a great thing for a pedal that's so high gain if you want it to be, you know. It could be very high gain. I, I was mean, actually nervous about blowing my amp up. <laughs> and then it's got the the extra boost circuit in there. Yeah. Which is not a feature of the Expandor at all. Uh, and you can put it before or after the drive with the flick of a switch. That's really cool. So too. you could take even like the lowest gain setting on on the kilt. Right. And just boost it into oblivion, into higher gain stuff. You can also use it to starve the higher gain settings into lower gain sounds. Yeah. With, with a foot switch, so you, you can have your, your high gain sound and have a variation on it while you're playing live. Yeah, I mean, how, how much time have we all spent, like, figuring out the chain yeah. of our pedal board, especially if you use multiple overdrives, like, all right, which one should be closest to the amp? Right, totally. You know, and here, you don't have to make the final decision ever. You have yeah. a flick of the switch, so you, you have two pedals in one. You have a boost and you have an overdrive. The overdrive side has three to four settings, and the boost has two settings, and what's, what, how do you, what do you multiply? Well... <laughs> the, 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 with the row of switches at the top, that's 16 different combinations. That's overwhelming. Yeah. And then, well, you got to throw one more in there because you've got the option to turn the boost on and off, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and you it's, got the low cut. Too. Yeah, and you just got a, lot of, got a lot of combinations here. Got a lot of stuff you can do on the fly. Yeah. Uh, and that's really defeating. That's really defeating the problems that you had with the original x Pandora is that you only have three knobs on the Expandora available while you're playing right. without getting into it. Also, I've had pedals that have an extra boost, but they never function when the whole pedal is off. That boost functions when the drive is off. So yeah. it can stand alone as a boost in your signal without the drive on, which is incredible. That's you know completely brilliant as far as I'm concerned, because now you don't need to have that extra boost on your board if it you know is in going to be in a similar location as this pedal right. you can just have this and it's a great sounding clean boost it's yeah i mean it's it's definitely it's a clean boost this is actually this is nothing and then if i hit the boost at kind of a conservative setting it really is stays pretty clean i yeah. think you can crank it up and it it does oh, yeah. have a nice compression to it well, eventually you're going to start driving your amp with that. Yeah. Which, again, it, you know, in, in my sort of circle of, of where I gig and stuff like that, volume is often an issue. Mm -hmm. But it is nice when you have the boost working with the, with the overdrive side at the same time. Yeah, totally. You know, it, it adds this level of compression and sustain and, and clarity to your notes. There is one setting I found that, like, when we were doing the demo, I just like, oh, um, 
so there's two switches. There's a gain one switch and a gain two switch, which you can uh-huh. you can keep them both off for a, you know. This is both of them off for just kind of an easy distortion, and then gain one on. But what I really liked was gain two on alone with gain one off. I just felt like this is. It's kind of what... It's the reason I have three or more Tube Screamer style right. overdrives because I'm looking for just that clean, simple, you know, 70s rock and roll totally. overdrive that I keep collecting Tube Screamers, you know, and Maxons <laughs> and, you know, now, um, I don't know, you know, I have I have another company that made their version of that and... This is it right here. I mean, that's the that's what you're chasing. Tone. I mean, it's yeah, it's got that. It's got that like you it's know, pretty touch touch sensitive. T- and- yeah, touch sensitive, clean like you know, Mick Ronson glamish style meets Texas bite. I mean, it's just. You know, ah, that's perfect. It's great. That's great. It's nasty. Oh. <laughs> I want this thing. I know, right? Well, how, how much did you pay for the Expandora when you um, got that? Did you do like a weird trade on it or something? No, I got it on eBay for, uh, I don't fully recall, but it was it was between two to 300 Okay. Yeah. Um, that's, that's about normal on those things. It's about normal. Yeah. And, and look, I mean, the Expandora, it's... I love it. I mean, it's it, it is what it is. It's not the most versatile pedal, but it's just it's a piece of you know. It's like it's like yeah. having a classic Italian sports car. It definitely gets you, you those know. sounds that you've heard on like just tons of recordings. Like it's just it just yeah. nails it. Well, for for recording, it's very versatile because I I have all the time in the world to open up the back and and, yeah. and mess with the dip switches. Um. But still, its tone is what it is. I think the JHS takes what the Xpandora uh, originated and gives it a lot more versatility, gives you a lot more tone uh-huh. options. Um, so you you paid her somewhere in between in the two hundreds, maybe uh, for your pedal. Yeah, close. I would say close to three. The, the it's ki- the most I've ever spent on a pedal. Sure. Yeah. The, the kilt is two seventy nine new, and I've been seeing people complain about that online, but I've been like. What it's copying, yeah, is already, you know, it already is in that territory, and you're getting something that's got all these extra features. It might, I, you know, I don't want to step on toes at JHS, but it might not have the collectability of an original Expandora. No, but so what? But it's got it's, it's got all the function and more. Its functionality is it surpasses the collectability. Sure, and, and you know what? It's brand new. Yeah, you never know. Maybe ten years down the line, it will be collectible. Yeah, check it out on the used market. Yeah, we'll see how much they make (laughs) or how many. But uh, I kind of hope this pedal takes off because honestly, I I think it's just crazy good. I've been having a ton of fun with it. I I mean, I enjoy it. It just showed up today. Mm -hmm. It just showed up in the mail today. But I played around with it for about an hour and a half before you got here, and I was just having a great time with this thing, man. It's (laughs) it's right up my alley. It's it's not subtle at all. No. This isn't one of those drives where you put it on there and you're like, oh, here's my transparent drive and it's just kind of in there. This is like in your face. Yeah. You can't ignore that this pedal's on sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it really has everything. And, and, you know, if you talk about price point, it costs about the same as, as buying a, an original Xpandora, but you're getting you're getting like three to five pedals in one. Yeah. With, with the three set. I mean, what what it takes me three different pedals to do I can on yeah. my board I could do with this one pedal and it sounds great too I mean some settings might not be everyone's cup of tea but there's a lot of great sounds in this box I mean it, I'm really impressed by it yeah apparently they spent a few years developing this with uh with, with Stu G who's right the, who's the guy he's a guitarist from the band Delirious which is mm-hmm. like a Christian worship rock sort of sort of outfit okay I know a thing or two about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they spent a lot of time working on it and it shows. It looks great too. I love the chrome. Yeah. I love the little kilt graphic. It, uh, people are saying that it looks like a Dalek from uh, Doctor Who. 
Oh, okay. I, if, I, don't, I don't know. If that's your if that's your nerdy jam, then you might just call that. it the Dalek instead of calling it the Kilt. But sure, <laughs> I think it's cool. I really yeah, like this pedal. JHS also makes like really well built. You know, you don't feel like it's going to fall apart on you. you no, step not on at it. all. Great pedals. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, we've I, we've done two demos for them already. We did the uh, we did the Honeytone Tremolo and mm-hmm. the Twin Twelve. Both of those are great pedals. I'm going to I'm going to say that I think this is my favorite out of those. Yeah. I think this is the this is the one that really connects with me. I concur. Yeah. All right, well, let's wrap this up. We said everything we need to say, right? There's nothing left. Yeah, I mean-